Hello guys, this is me and this is Sergei. He sounds Russian, but he's actually very Dutch. He's, uh, uh, he's just got his TRP from the local um, uh, migration office, from the OGIM. Uh, Sergey, how much in total did we spend on that? I mean, you, house, procedures, some 10, 10,000 euro? Uh, a bit less Perhaps. actually, yeah. Yeah, there Around was nine. a little, a little, uh, how shall I say, a wrinkle uh, when these guys promised to extend the visa-free and converted TRP, temporary residency permit. But uh, somewhere down the line, as we communicated, they, they got new manuals and they forced uh, Sergey come out get out of the country, come back on a visa. So remember the essence, TRP comes from a visa, private or business. When you have that, you can work further, buy a house, get a course, get a marriage or something like this, open a company, get job. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise on a visa free, you can't get that. You can buy a house, you can initiate the process, but you'll have to come back on a visa. Let me remind you quickly how all these things worked and what essentials are required for the TRP, what essential steps. And, um, and message me if you have any further questions and visit this gentleman. He's in my village. I'll put down the address below. It's one hour away from Minsk. Any questions, anything at all? Bring good coffee. The local shop isn't uh, very good in coffees. They have a load of flame water, all sorts of things that burn if you don't drink it. Uh, otherwise, uh, bring some good coffee if you want to have a conversation. guys this is the conclusion of the story that started in january this year with a young young dutch gentleman wanting to move away from western democracies and concluding today when he got trp in the local migration office that was very very courteous and cooperative as long as we follow the playbook the stages included picking a property which i knew of so it was the easy part i knew the owners they were decent guys we negotiated the price the guy flew over here on a visa free which again is not recommended because Visa Free doesn't upgrade to TRP and uh, departure and arrival back to Belarus may be a bit painful in light of COVID and PCR routine. So he had to leave for Kiev, get a private visa based on the contract for his house. And uh, he just came back to kickstart a TRP two weeks ago and to collect the TRP within the mandatory 14 days after the application. Uh, he is not planning to travel, so there wasn't an application for an exit visa, single or multiple entry. That is for those who are planning to travel uh, out of Belarus and back. So he's just gone enjoy some life and tranquil countryside view until April 2022. Insurance is in place, so is the registration on his TRP in the passport. My next guest lining up to see things and choose a property, uh, a family from Germany, it's going to be fun, there are kids. And although we know now that a property as budget as that is okay in the countryside for a TRP to live, if you live in the house, we're going to find out something that every office in Minsk says is impossible. We're going to buy a budget property like this, solid, good house with improvements and everything further on. We're going to find out if a property here allows us to apply for a TRP in one of the offices in Minsk where the family is going to rent a place, rent, rent a flat for one year and where the kids are going to attend a private German kindergarten that I may be vlogging about a little bit later. As I passed by these pastures, I recall that 100 years back, 150 uh, people lived here according to the 1897 census of the village of Zalnyarkovici, which came as uh, the general census of the Russian Empire. But now there are, I almost said two, actually three folks living, including my new Dutch neighbor. I would say he's a much better companion than the drunken guy who was, was quite scary, actually. He left somewhere this winter. So in short, buying a house in a village on the land is kind of simple, although each step has its own wrinkles that I'll be able to communicate to any next customer of mine. The stages are pick a house, negotiate the price, the uh, 
Land has to be converted into rent. The buyer can do that after purchase or the seller can do that before the purchase. The uh, old owners of this house back there actually almost said no because of the bureaucracy, but we found a trick to arrange it. Land got converted in two weeks. TRP got applied for in two more weeks. And that was it. Of course, payments and registration uh, make another interesting, challenging issue. So uh, it helps to have somebody who knows the drill next to you to explain how it works. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Your few pennies are always, or dollars, are always welcome on uh, one of the uh, donation channels, uh, on the donation platforms. The details are below. Ask your questions. Several questions are very welcome free of charge. I'm always uh, in for a dialogue or a feedback. We hope to see you someday. Thank you very much and travel safely. Cheers.